I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing optimization questions and we are going to apply derivative of trigonometric functions to solve this question. The question here is find maximum area of a rectangle circumscribed about a fixed rectangle of length 10 centimeters and width 5 centimeters. So here is a diagram. So we are given a rectangle of length 10 and width 5 and this rectangle is circumscribing the original given rectangle. So we have a bigger rectangle outside. We need to find maximum area of this big rectangle. So how do you find this? Now what we need to do is somehow relate length and width of this bigger rectangle in terms of the given information. So what I've done here is let this angle be theta which the bigger angle makes with the edges of the inscribed angle. Now if this angle is theta then that is 90 minus theta and here we have 90 degrees so that angle has to be theta, right? So let us say this is the width of the rectangle. In that case uh, let me call this as, uh, let me label this as A, B, uh, C, D and let me call these points as P, Q, R, S. Okay. So PQRS are these points, right? Now, using these sides and the right triangles, we can actually find the sides of the bigger rectangle. So one of the sides AB could be written as equals to AP plus PB, right? Which is AP plus PB. Now, as you can see, AP is adjacent in this right triangle where hypotenuse is 5. Since it is adjacent, we get the size as 5 cos of theta. So AP will be 5 cos of theta. On the other hand, PB. PB in this particular triangle is side opposite to theta, right? Opposite. So it is sine. So it is 10 times, so plus 10 times sine theta, right? So this concept I hope is absolutely clear. In any right triangle, you can use Sokotoa, right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So we use Sokotoa to find the relations in right triangle. Okay. Let us also find the side BC. So what is BC equals to? BC is BQ and QC, sum of these two, BQ plus QC. BQ is adjacent side with theta, hypotenuse is 10, adjacent means cos. So we have 10 cos of theta. And QC is opposite to theta with hypotenuse 5. So opposite means sine, right? This is probably the easiest way of getting the dimensions as I've discussed and I hope you must have found it extremely important and simple. So these are a few tips which if you pick up now it will be very good for you to do rest of the exercise on trigonometric functions. Now it's very simple since we have these two sides of a rectangle what is area. Now area we could write as a function of theta now because both these terms are all functions of theta is product of AB and BC, right? So we multiply these two to get area, right? So we get area as AB is 5 cos theta plus 10 sine theta times 10 cos theta plus 5 sine theta. Now, purposely I have taken 10 and 5 so that our calculations become much simpler, right? So the idea is to keep things extremely simple right now we can actually multiply and simplify the expression 5 cos theta times 10 will give us 50 cos square theta right cos square theta 5 times 5 is 25 cos and sine right so we have 25 cos theta sine theta plus 10 times 10 is 100 cos theta sine theta or sine theta cos theta either way right so sine theta plus 10 times 5 as 50 
sin square theta, right? Sin square theta. So that is the expression which could be simplified a bit more. By combining these two terms, we get 50 uh, cos square theta plus 125 cos theta sin theta plus 50 sin square theta. So that is the expression for area to maximize we need to find the critical number, right? Now, you know the theta, whichever we have taken here, is between 0 to 90 degrees, right? So the restrictions on theta are uh, that theta is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 90 degrees, right? So these are the boundary conditions. So we'll check the values for boundary conditions as well as for the critical number, right? So let's find the derivative of this function, which is a theta. So derivative of this is a prime theta, which I could write this as equals to cos square theta means 2 times 50, which is 100, right? 100 cos theta times derivative of cos theta, which is minus sine theta, right? Now here we have product cos theta sine theta. So we'll use, you could actually write sine 2 theta and also do it. Uh, but what we will do in this case is that uh, we will okay uh, we could have actually simplified this a bit more you see 50 cos square theta and 50 sine square theta cos square theta plus sine square theta is one right so uh, i overlooked it for the time being i think it's a good time to simplify it so what we are doing here is we are taking 50 common right so if i take 50 common then what do i get i get uh, 50 cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. So we just get 50 here, right? So 50. Now, let me also write 125 cos theta sine theta as 125 divided by 2 sine 2 theta, right? Uh, let me give you some background on this. Okay. So what we've done here is we've taken 50 common. Once you take 50 common, uh, let me show you here. So once we take 50 common, we will write 50 here. So we get cos square theta plus sine square theta, right? Which is 1, so we get 50, correct? Plus in this term, we have written this like this. 125 divided by 2 times 2 times sine theta cos theta. As you know, 2 times sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta. And that is how we get our number, right? So this is the expression which we get for a theta. So let me write this as, uh, so this is a theta, right? So that is that is what a theta is. Since this is 1, we wrote this as 50 plus 125 by 2 sine 2 theta, right? So that is how we got it. Now let us find the derivative of this function. It's much simpler, right? So derivative is uh, for 50, it is constant, 0, right? So here it will be plus... 125 over 2 times sine 2 theta derivative is cos 2 theta perfect times 2 times 2 now there's 2 and 2 cancels so what we get here is the first derivative is 125 cos 2 theta so i could write this as 125 cos 2 theta now to find critical number this derivative should be zero. So we have this derivative of area is zero. That means what? So 125 cos 2 theta should be equal to zero. That implies when is cos 2 theta zero? Cos 2 theta will be zero when theta is pi by 2, right? So that implies, let me write down solution in a different thing, 2 theta equals to pi by 2, right? Or we could write this as theta equals to pi by 4. So that is the value, which is our critical number, right? So this is how we get critical number here. So we equate it to 0 to find critical number. Let me write like this. Okay, so the critical number is theta equals to pi by 4, right? So I'm running out of space, and that is why I'm squeezing it here. I hope you understand that part. Okay, 
Now the whole idea is to find whether this is indeed the maximum area or not. So we have a critical number of pi by 4 and the boundary conditions of 0 and 90. So what we can do now is calculate the value of the function for all these. So that is the area given to us which simplified to that expression. That's simple, right? So that's good. So 50 plus something, so we'll just check that part, okay? So let us find what is A of 0 equals to, right? So that is the first boundary condition. If I write 0, 2 times 0 is also 0, sine 0 is 0, so we are left with 50, right? So A of 0 is 50, that we know. Now simpler, similarly, let us write 90, right? So what is A of 90 degrees? So if I write 90, it becomes 90 times 2 as 180. Sine is 0 for 180, so that is also equals to 50, right? So the area is 50. Now we will calculate the area for pi by 4, right? So pi by 4 or 45 degrees, either way, right? So we'll write 45 degrees and find that answer. So if I write pi by 4, pi by 4 times 2 is uh, pi by 2, sine pi by 2 is 1, so we get this as 1. So we have 50 plus 125 divided by 2. So that is the answer for us. So if you calculate for pi by 2, what you get really is 50 plus 125 divided by 2. And that is indeed in decimals equals to 112.5. Now that is more than 50, right? It's plus something. So that is why this is the maximum area. So that gives us the maximum area. So we get units will of course be centimeters square and that is the maximum area for us correct let's read the question once again it says find maximum area of a rectangle circumscribed about a fixed rectangle of length 10 centimeters and width 5 centimeters so now we know that the maximum area is going to be 112.5 centimeters square as calculated at times you may be asked for the dimensions of the rectangle in that case you can substitute this value here and find the dimensions also i hope this helps you to understand how to solve such optimization questions trigonometry really helps to simplify the solution for such questions right thank you and all the best